Pumpkins are officially being sold at supermarkets, which means that fall is here, whether or not the calendar says so. Now, what exactly does this mean for your real estate business? Because we all know that this is a crazy, exciting, and profitable time for Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks. Now, let me put this pumpkin down before I forget and hold it the entire video. So, quarter four, right? We are headed into or already in quarter four if you're watching this video. And it's kind of like, wait a second, why are we talking about this? Why are we like, what, what, what do you mean planning for the new year? It, we haven't even hit Thanksgiving yet. And the truth is, is as a real estate professional, as a business owner, you should be thinking about 2023 already, right? Now, quarter four sets the tone for quarter one and quarter two of next year. And what you do in these next three months is really, really going to make a huge difference in whether or not you're able to hit the ground running come 2023. So in this video, we're going to go over a quick success checklist, um, just a few things that you should be focusing on in quarter four um, to, to really get your business strong when it comes to 2023. So number one is that you really should take a moment to sit down and review your business plan. Now, if you don't have a business plan, go to the link in the description below. We have the business plan blueprint for real estate agents that you can get instant access to with your purchase of the business plan for real estate agents. There's more information on that there. If you already have a business plan, great. What you should do is sit with it, mull it over, take a look. Are you on track? Are you on track for the goals that you set for yourself in 2022, right? Now, let's say that you're not on track, right? I don't want you to sit there and have a pity party for yourself because that's not going to help you close deals. What I would recommend you doing is looking at what your goal was, right? Let's say that your goal was to close uh, 20 deals in 2022, right? Keep it, keep the numbers even for the, the math that I'm about to do on the fly in this video. <laughs> so let's say your goal was to close 20 deals in 2022 and you only closed eight, right? So keeping that in mind, what you can do is look at your goal for the year, cut it into fours, right? That being four quarters, because technically if you were going to be on track, it would have looked something along the lines of you closing five deals per quarter, right? Five, 10, 15, 20. So in quarter four, you would have closed about five deals. Set that as your new goal for this quarter, that you want to close five deals. So that's what you're looking to do. This is a very simple way to sort of take the stress off your shoulders of that you know, gut-wrenching feeling when you look at your business plan and you're like, oh, I didn't hit the mark, right? Now, if you are on track with your business plan, kudos to you, you are doing fantastic. And honestly, there's really nothing that you need to do besides keep on keeping on and do the rest of this checklist that we're about to go over, right? So again, if you don't have a business plan, check out the link in the description below. Um, it's It really is great, breaks everything down. Let's dive into number two. Now, what we wanna do next after we've reviewed our business plan and we kind of have the state of the current, I don't wanna say union or market, the state of your business, and you're kind of like, okay, this is, what, this is where I was headed, this is where I'm headed, this is what I gotta get done. Now we need to talk about what you need to get done in quarter four, right? And you might be wondering like, wait, isn't that what we just did? There are a few more details uh, that go into quarter four because it is the holiday season, right? So we know, let's be honest, you might be or probably will be busy, busy, busy with parties, networking events, family gatherings, and then the actual holidays themselves, right? So this is going to uh, potentially take days away from your business, but it all, it's also a fantastic opportunity for you to get yourself in front of your past clients, your current clients, your sphere of influence, your community. There are so many different things that you can do. Um, and what you wanna do is kind of map that out, right? Have a clear and concise plan. So for example, are you sending out holiday cards this year, right? You wanna get on that sooner rather than later because sending out holiday cards sneaks up on you. You also wanna budget correctly for those holiday cards. Are you including any type of gift 
with the holiday cards, gift cards, actual physical gifts, scratch offs, something, right? Or is it just like a written card and you're wishing them happy holiday? Where are you getting them printed? What are they gonna look like? How much are they gonna cost, right? Really break that down. What you also wanna do is craft whether or not you're gonna be sending out holiday emails, holiday voicemail drops, cold calls. Are you doing a holiday advertising campaign? Anything along those lines. If you are a team leader or a broker owner, are you hosting a holiday party, right? Are you doing an award ceremony? Are you hosting a get together or a happy hour that is holiday related? If you are, start to get on your P's and Q's, you know, cross your T's, dot your I's because it approaches quickly. We all know that once November 1st hits, the holiday season's kind of a whirlwind. And then when you throw your business in there and the preparation for like your personal life and then the preparation for your business in the next year, right? Cause there's a lot that goes into that as well. It can get very overwhelming. So if you just get it out of the way now and plan for it now and have everything set up, it's gonna take a lot of stress off of your shoulders, right? And now the third thing for your checklist, right? Last thing, keep it quick is your taxes so i know that that is kind of like oh no let's not talk about taxes until next year um but this this is when you should really be thinking about it so alex and i have already had tons of taxes conversations um because we are having a very very successful year um it's one of our most successful years and you know we're worried about tax season right we're trying to prepare properly um we've made a list of last minute purchases that we're going to make depending on our um, income things that we need for the business um things that we can definitely write off things that we can 50 percent write off 20 percent write off um depreciated write-offs and things like that so that way we can be prepared for that and that the, when it comes time to file our taxes it's not like a big shock like oh my gosh that's how much we owe like no we have a better idea of it and we made a plan um to get as many deductions as possible so for you as a real estate agent whether you're a sole proprietor llc s corp anything like that you want to make sure that you are making a plan for taxes right so here is a tip if you have a few more deals i hope you do right sending sending deal closing do do your way but if you have a few more deals closing towards the back end of this year you should really sit down and calculate okay what are my estimated taxes or have your accountant do it your tax professional will give you kind of like a, a estimated number because if you don't have that set aside in savings what you can do is you last few deals take a chunk of that money and put it towards you know the savings account for your taxes right and if you have made an abundance of money and closed a ton of deals this year right what you want to do is talk to your tax professional talk to your accountant or crunch your numbers as best you can and figure out okay what are some ways or you know options for me to save taxes to find deductions right so that way you can make the most of your income this year uh, going into next year if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell because we put out two videos per week and make sure that you're subscribed to Marketing Mondays. It is a free newsletter we deliver every Monday, chock full of marketing, advertising, production, and branding strategies that you can use in your real estate business today.